What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we're going to talk about the Game of Thrones documentary, The Last Watch. Now, many people ask me, why didn't you cover this when it aired? Why didn't you talk about this? I haven't talked about it at all, and everybody wanted to know why. Uh, I didn't cover it because immediately after the finale, I canceled my subscription to HBO. Just got rid of it. Didn't care. Um... I was just that upset and, like, done with the, the season. Plus, it's the only reason I have HBO was for Game of Thrones. And so, I just was like, screw this. I'm done. Anything else that comes on there, I can watch it somewhere else in terms of movies. I guess there's a couple of good series, but I I, I don't know. Anyway, that's why I have not covered it up to this point. But, Amelia Clark was just as freaked out by the Game of Thrones finale as the rest of us. And I'm sure you've all seen this, so there's I'm not really breaking any news here. But we're going to go through it. Um, and it, right there, like, right there is, like, look at, look at her. She is, like, you gotta be kidding me. And we've seen so many different reactions from her all over the place about her reaction to the finale. It's just a disaster. Uh, obviously we got Kit Harrington here. Uh, just really just, like, what in the world? Uh, right here's another good shot. Here. For a moment, neither moves as if moving will make this real. We see John with his hand still on the hilt of the dagger that just lodged in Danny's heart. <laughs> her strength leaves her and she collapses to the marble. He keeps her in his arms and she falls, kneeling down to the floor beside her. He looks down at what he's done, terrible and necessary. End of Game of Thrones. <laughs> It's so bad. I, 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 it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. But wait, there's more. The Night King raises his arms slowly. John knows what that means. The dead begin to rise. Jorah the Andal battles on. He has been slashed and stabbed, pummeled and pierced. But somehow he keeps fighting. Whites plunge their knives into him. Look at him. He takes Look more him. punishment than Hodor took at the door, oh. than Beric took in the Great Hall. And still somehow Jorah stands and defends his queen. Danny tries to rouse Jorah, but he is gone. Exterior, Godswood. The Night King walks with methodical, terrifying calm. He stops before Bran and raises his sword to strike, but something is hurtling toward him out of the darkness. Arya. She vaults off a pile of dead whites, leaps at the Night King, and she plunges the dagger up through the Night King's armor, and the Night King shatters. Off a pile of dead whites? What? Come on, bro. Come Bobby. on. That is so lazy. That is incredibly lazy. Oh, my God. And, and yes, I mean, look, I, I, I could sit here. I could talk about this story. If, if Look, I know a lot of people are going to be using this for good headlines. And, and, and more power to you if that's what you want to do. Obviously, Kit Harrington has uh, checked himself into a rehabilitation center. Uh, you know, good for him, I guess. I don't really get caught up in all this nonsense about celebrities and uh addictions and all that that's really not my business i don't really care uh whatever you know i'm sure a lot of people are gonna be talking about this today i'm not i i really don't have much of a an opinion on it uh at least opinion that i really care to share here on youtube but uh i just it is what it is man i don't I don't know much about Kit Harrington outside of the fact that I uh, I appreciated his portrayal as Jon Snow for uh, several seasons until until this season. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to be talking about it. But the the bottom line here is, I mean, you've got Amelia Clark, not happy. You got Kit Harrington, not happy. Uh, you've got uh, Conleth Hill, uh, definitely not happy. I mean, he was not happy at all. This cat was not happy. Josiah made a video about this. Um, and, I mean, this has got to be the worst series finale in the history of television. It just does. And this documentary, The Last Watch, did no favors, at least from what I can tell. I will say that I, I have not seen the entire documentary in its full glory. I've only seen portions clips that were uh pulled out of it so maybe the entire thing put together is better i have a hard time believing that but i guess i'm going to leave that option on the table considering that um i have not seen it in its entirety so 
anyway, that's kind of it. People wanted to know why I didn't cover the documentary. That's why I didn't cover the documentary. Now we've got a little bit of articles and a couple of clips that I can cover. But I didn't see the documentary. Yes, I could have re, uh, I could have, I could have resubscribed uh, just for that, and I guess I could have, but I just chose not to. I was kind of done with it at that point. Um, but there's a lot. There's still going to be a lot to talk about with Game of Thrones and the effect they're going to have on the spinoffs, on Benioff and Weiss's Star Wars movie. Uh, I'm sure that the actors are not going to stop talking. It seems like they're still being very vocal. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of reaction around the internet, so we're going to continue to cover that. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.